The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome in this week on the Sportsman's Table from the International Culinary Institute in beautiful Myrtle Beach on the campus of Ori Georgetown Tech. My guest chef today is student chef Dante Passeri. Dante, it's good to have you, man. Thanks, good to be here. Ah, well, good. You're getting ready to graduate soon? Yes, sir. Couple months. Oh, my gosh. Well, congratulations. I'll Thank tell you, you what. I appreciate that. We appreciate you cooking today. Um, what do you got for me? We got some pasta. So it's going to be a pork belly and pumpkin pasta carbonara. Really? Yep. Okay. Man, that's got to be a first. Pork belly, that I've heard. But the other, let's do it. All right, so we're going to start with uh, heating up our pan. Okay. And then we're going to go in with some extra virgin olive oil. I got you. What we're doing is we're going to be uh, crisping up the pork belly. Okay, so you cut it up in cubes. Yep, so that's mm. uh, large cubes, and we're just going to, we want to crisp up all the sides. So then when you bite into it, it's nice and crispy, but yeah. soft in the middle. I got you. Yep, pork belly's nice and crisp, so we're going to take our diced onion and garlic. Okay. And go in there with that. I'm just going to get that nice and soft. Oh, yeah. You know, it smells great. It really does. Fat means flavor. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, never trust a skinny chef. That's right. No, I think that needs right. to be your new mantra. So, uh, we're not going to let this get uh, completely soft because it's going to cook while we're... Uh, finishing off the dish. Right. So now we're going to go in with our uh, batonet pumpkin. Ah. So this is a uh, pumpkin that was a uh, whole pumpkin that was blanched and uh, made nice and soft. I got now, you. Uh, now we're going to cook it up a little more. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I love. We're, we're cooking now. So now mm. we have to take it off the heat because when we put the eggs in we don't want them to uh, scramble. I got you. So we have some hot homemade uh, pasta. It's uh, tagliatelle pasta. Right. Along with a little pasta water because that's going to help keep the sauce nice and uh, silky and smooth. I got you. Because no matter what people say, there is no cream in pasta carbonara. Right. It's just eggs. Really? A lot of people put cream in their carbonara sauce, mm. but it's just egg. Well, you know, a great thing, it, 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 it's a dish all in one pan. That's right. That's it's nice what, and easy. Yeah, it is. And it's delicious. So now what we're going to do, we have two eggs, uh, whole eggs whisked. Okay. So we're going to go in with that. Mm. And along with some uh, Lucatelli Pecorino Romano cheese. Uh, when I was younger, my grandfather would say, this is all we can use. It's the best, the best of the best imported directly from Italy. Now, where, what part of Italy? Sicily, Italy, um, Rome? It's the, this cheese is actually from, uh, I believe, Rome. Yeah. And your the, family, where were they from? Uh, they were from Umbria, right. uh, which is in the central part of Italy. I got you. But um, they would get it imported to the United States when they moved here. I got you. Wow, that, that's, that's a great looking dish. So before, we don't want, even if it's off the heat, it's still going to cook if we let it sit for too long. Right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it right in the bowl. And we're ready to roll. And we are ready to roll. Yes. Ah, oh, man. Pork belly. Who would have thunk it? Look at that. You know, have you had fun here at the school? Of course, of course. They, uh, they told me when I started here, the second year is always better, and I'm already seeing that only 10 weeks into my uh, second year. Wow. Wow, great. Congratulations. May will be here before you owe That's it. right. Yeah, and then you'll be out getting a job somewhere as a, well, I mean, you know, executive chef. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we, uh, I took some uh, of the pork belly on there and garnished it. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. And then once again, we have the Pecorino Romano cheese right on top. Oh, wow. Dante. Never enough cheese. I'm telling you, feast for a millionaire right there. There we go. Uh, right here on the sportsman's table. Dante, you're the best, man. Oh, thank, thank you for you. being a, a guest chef on sure. the show today. Happy to be here. I really want to wish you all the best as you go on your career. Maybe I'll see you sometime down the road, huh? Maybe at the next right. restaurant. Yep. Thank well, you folks, all. as always, I'm telling you, 
Log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com, see what's fresh on the menu, and always buy South Carolina. We'll be right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste.